Hey folks, I want to share this quick intro to this video because this situation happened in Staten Island, New York last week where I led this young man to the Lord and he got healed and then led him to the Lord because he didn't know the Lord and, uh, and, and I, I did the salvation prayer thing. I explained the gospel to him and, and he understood it and then I led him in a prayer and some people don't like that but you know, what can I tell you, you know, uh, I know it's biblical. I'm not saying that there's a formula that you use to get somebody to get saved with a prayer. People can cry out in their hearts and, you know, and get saved. You know, re they respond to the love of God, the grace of God in all sorts of different ways. But what the salvation prayer does is it's a, it's a way to educate people. So like when I'm explaining the gospel, I, I share that Jesus is the Savior of the world, that they have a need. All right, and that they in that they appropriate the gift, the free gift of salvation through repentance, all right, by faith. And repentance means more than just stop thinking that you're good enough on your own merits. It means turning from sin. It means it means recognizing that sin is a, is an offense to God, and that you have a desire to turn from it. Does somebody? Does everybody turn from it immediately right there? No, it doesn't. Like it, the process begins, and so God starts to work on you. You submit to God. And the dis he brings discipline into your life, he changes you, he molds you and shapes you and gets the junk out of your life. So that he changes you, makes you a witness. You know, we're saved, you know, to be, to, you know, to be in the family of God, but also to be a witness to the lost world. You know, God glorifying himself through record. Us. Yeah. My name is Tom, this is my friend Terrell. We're ministers, we pray for people and they get healed. Do either one of you guys got any pain that won't go away? Any old injury, sickness, pain? You do? What's the matter? Everything. I got arthritis and everything. Really? You're so young. How long have you had that? Oh, you want a car accident. Now, when somebody gets into a car accident, sometimes there's a, a spirit of trauma that latches on to that person at that point of impact. Because it's like a shocking event. You know? Like, you get into a car accident, you're like, oh, what just happened? You know, like, you lose a few seconds in life. It's like a traumatic event. Who does this at a noise of the cars? It's traumatic, and so like, and so like, at that point, a spirit can get into you. So like, I would say to you that it's not really arthritis, but rather there's a spirit of trauma that needs to get cast out so that you can heal, because that's what it does. That unclean spirit tries to prevent you from healing, because God loves you. You're made in the image of God. God made mankind in His image, so He loves everybody and He wants you whole. So Terrell is going to tell that spirit of trauma to leave you, to leave your back. Okay? Okay. So. So God, you just say spirit of trauma, leave him in the name of Jesus Christ and pain go. Spirit of trauma, leave us back in the name of Jesus Christ and pain go now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now move your back around a little bit. And and has pain lessened? A little. A little bit. And now you were you weren't expecting this. Nobody ever does when I go up to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not at all. So like, but some people, their reaction when they're not expecting it takes them by surprise and the guard goes up in a way, you know. So so right now I release peace to you in the name of Jesus. He loves you. So all fear, stress, and anxiety get away from him in Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. You're a liar, Satan. Loose a hold of him. You can't keep him in bondage anymore from that car accident. So all arthritis go. All pain leave him now in Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit leave him now. Jesus is Lord. Be set free in Jesus' name. Now move around, go like this, and tell me if you're feeling any different. No, not at all. Uh, I just got done playing three games of football. <laughs> better than I did five minutes ago. You feel good right now? Yeah. From that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What, what did you feel? Were you feeling any manifestations? Uh, no, I just like... No, I mean like when I pray. Just felt like a bunch of weight. There you go, a bunch of weight. When when uh, when people feel something lifting over their shoulders, that's usually an unclean spirit leaving. Like they'll feel a burden leaving, because that's what evil spirits do. They weigh you that down. That is what I need. That's what you need too. Yes. Okay. Now I feel horrible right now. My back, my leg, the back okay. of my legs. Okay. This is a great situation right here. Shit. You you don't you don't know Jesus personally, do you? All right. But that helps you to believe, right? Okay, so now, the, this is the gospel. The, the, the gospel is this, that Jesus came to this earth about 2,000 years ago preaching love and forgiveness. He said, love people, forgive people, 
and believe that I am who I say I am. I'm going to die for your sins because you're not good enough to get to a perfect God's heaven on your own merits. We all fall short of the glory of God because we've all sinned. Yep. I know you sinned. I don't even need to know you. I know because I have too. You know, so like, so Jesus took the penalty, he paid the price for your sins, but he came out of the grave three days later. He said he would, and he was seen alive by over 500 people at the same time. That's the hope of the Christian. So they. When you put your trust in what Jesus did for you, he saves you. God imputes righteousness to you, which means he gives you righteousness as a free gift. And then he puts that desire in your heart to want to know him more. You want that, right? Okay, so the Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, all right? So say this, say, Father in heaven, I believe you sent Jesus to die for my sins. I acknowledge I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I repent of my sins and I ask you to help me because I can't overcome sin on my own. I believe Jesus is alive and I receive him as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, now Lord, thank you for him. Thank you that you love him. So Holy Spirit, come upon him in power. Fill him, Holy Spirit. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You belong to Jesus. So all pain leave him completely in Jesus' name. Be totally restored to health in Jesus' name. No arthritis, no pain, no trauma, nothing. Jesus is Lord, and you belong to him. He loves you. You feel something more from that, don't you? Okay, now, this is crazy. Watch this. Let me see this. Now, now you... Now that you believe in Jesus, you have all the power in you. You've got God living in you now. He's changed you. And you've got everything you need to minister the healing to other people. And you said you have pain where? My calves. Your calves? Back here. Back here. Every and what's that from? Playing football. So you got a lot of stress and pain in you from all that. Okay. Put your hand on his shoulder and tell the pain to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to it. I believe this pain get away out of this body from God sent from the heavens on earth. Please leave this soul now. Wait, and don't even say please. Command it to go in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now move around. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Move around. Move around. I knew by his face immediately something was happening. Dude, what's going on? What's going on? Shit, what the hell, man? <laughs> oh, fuck, no. Come on, come on. Come on, you feel good, don't you? Oh, God, what the hell? What are you doing? Yo, nigga. What are you doing? Yo, I believe you feel Yo, shit, like... It, it's gone. Yo, I believe in Jesus, I do. I study the Bible, because I take Bible studies. Yeah. And you... <laughs> <laughs> you just... Yo, bro. You just got saved, and already a second later, you're ministering healing to somebody. <laughs> Yo, bro, Ain't that crazy? That ass, like, That's crazy. I don't feel, I don't know, I don't feel... You don't feel anything. pain no more. Right. <laughs> in, in my head. It's crazy. It's amazing. Now let me ask you something. When I, was when I was telling you the gospel and I told you those elements of the gospel truth and you were receiving it, did you think that I was giving you... I'm sorry, do you have any change? Sure. sure. Hold this camera for a second. Sure. What do you need? Um... I guess like three dollars if you have. Yeah, just take a five. God bless you. You don't have to give me no, any no, change. No, I need change for a bus, like coins. Oh, oh no, I don't have no coins on me. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's you need okay. change to get on a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. No, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. I have a, I have a quarter. I saw the change I have. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm now sorry, check this you. out. When I when I was saying that to you, giving you those elements of the gospel. Did you think I was presenting to you a formula to get saved? Or was I or was I just educating you on what it means to get saved? Energy that, that God gives us to live on an everyday basis. And also to understand, to, to 
to you know, like, get funding streams and feel ourselves when we really need to when we do feel down and out that all we do need to do is get to Right, so, so that explanation sounds more like I wasn't really presenting a formula. Because, because when I say a formula, it's like I'm saying, was I giving you a one, two, three, four, five step pattern to get saved? Right, there you go. I, that's the reaction I wanted to see. So it was more like an education. Amen. I wanted to hear it from you. In fact, I want to bless you. You, you need some money. Thank you. Right? Yeah, and you need some money too, right? I'm you blessing know. you guys with 20 bucks each. How do you know? Because God loves you guys. I can just tell. God, I, I knew. I only got a couple of singles, but take that, bro. Thank you. God oh, loves you. you. You're welcome. How do you know? Jesus is real. Yo, wait, guys. man. Yo, this is not happening, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You, you guys both. I bless both of you. You both made both my day. day. Oh, my I, God. I just, had a, I just had a triple header of softball. I'm playing in the championship game yo, next Saturday. This is a, this is a blessing alone. Nah, and then yo, this, this. I is think a, if I pass out, I'm a, I passed out <laughs> earlier on. I love to bless. I love to bless people with a few bucks. Besides ministering healing, because it shows a practical side of God that He's concerned about your practical needs also. Wait, hold up! But how did you know? Uh, uh, it's easy to tell. It's quite often easy to tell by a person's posture. You know. By, by the look in their eyes, you know, it's maybe some anxiety, some worry, you know, they can tell. Not always, but sometimes I can tell, you know, so. Yeah, I'm ready for another round. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I'm, ready. Good? I'm ready for next weekend. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm enjoying. I can stay out more to study my, my teaching ethics and, you know, oh, I'm studying. Oh, no, like, you know I, what? Read the Bible. Make sure you read the Bible. It's so important to get the Bible in you because the Bible is a living book. It, it's like I could read the Bible for 22 years. That's the reason why I do this. Because when you read it a lot, you get it in you and you believe it. And you start to believe it and it becomes a part of you. So go in the New Testament. The whole Bible is good, but go in the New Testament and start in the Gospel of John. Because the Gospel of John teaches you about Jesus. And then read from there to the end of the Bible. And then while you're doing that, pray to God and say, Father in heaven, show me this. Teach me by your Holy Spirit have about Jesus. Teach me about Jesus. I want to know this in the Bible. Exactly. Do that, right? Because I study with the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's what I study with my parents. Okay, well. And they That's what they tell us. Okay, but I want to say something about Jehovah's Witness, all right? Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in the deity of Jesus Christ. Jesus is God, all right? Jesus is God in the flesh. You know, you got God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It's a three-in-one God. That's what the triune God is, all right? And we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Another way of looking at it is that Jesus is the Word of God. So that when God, God is Spirit, and when God spoke, that was Jesus. Because Jesus is the Word of God, all right? And the Holy Spirit is the power of God. So it was the Holy Spirit that was coming upon you and upon you to take the pain away. It's the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is the power of God. So it's all the same God, but three different parts in a way. You get it? And so like the, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they think that Jesus was a created being. Jesus was not a created being. Jesus has always, he's always existed. He's always, he's always existed. He existed with God the Father, always. He was not created. So it's so, it's vitally important that you believe that. Because if you don't believe in the deity of Jesus Christ, you're not believing in the Jesus that came taught in the Bible. And you have to believe. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, I'm the only way. That's why I can do that in the name of Jesus. Well, you need to <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? You're gonna wake me up. Yo, I'm passed out in the field. So wake me up. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna let you go so that you can take all this in. Because if I keep on talking, there's gonna be too much information. You need to like, you need to process it all. God bless you. God bless you. It's great meeting Thank you guys. God bless you. <laughs> okay, awesome, man. That was an, an amazing situation with those guys. And what's interesting is that Terrell and I, when we were walking away. I was wondering why didn't I lead that guy to the Lord also? I should have told him the truth with the God I did in a way, but I should have like brought him to the point where he wanted to know, you know, wanted Jesus and the real Jesus, not the Jehovah's Witnesses Jesus that says he's a created being, alright? 
Uh, but what's interesting is that Terrell bumped into that guy the next day. It's amazing. That's that's God for you. He, Terrell bumped into him the next day, talked to him, and led the guy to the Lord the following day. So it's amazing. God and his faithfulness made up for something that, you know, we failed to do the day before. So, <laughs> so praise the Lord.